In the oceans, thousands of bioluminescent marine organisms emit a blue glow onto the night shore as the waves rise and fall. Fireflies flash in the air, producing their own glow. This bioluminescence is necessary for animals to find mates and to protect their species from predators, but it also has the potential to improve current medical practices and even turn people into human glow sticks. By processing magnetic nanoparticles to include the enzymes that produce bioluminescence, we can use the natural light to track the progress of diseased cells throughout the body. In organisms like fireflies and single-celled dinoflagellates in the ocean, bioluminescence is triggered by movement caused by the environment. This agitation deforms the cell membrane and leads to a flow of protons that brings luciferase, an enzyme, in contact with luciferin, a compound. Because the proton flow decreases the pH, luciferase oxidizes the luciferin, and photons are released in a flash of light. In fireflies, adenosine triphosphate and either magnesium or calcium must also be present for light to be produced. Current medical imaging for cancer and other diseases often requires the use of radiology methods such as CT scans, x-rays, and nuclear imaging. Because these techniques can expose patients to large doses of radiation in short amounts of time, there is often a risk of cell growth or even DNA being damaged inside the body. Luciferase, the main chemical responsible for the light produced in some bioluminescent organisms, can likely help provide a safer alternative to these traditional imaging methods. Rather than using an external source for imaging, luciferase nanoparticles are being researched to be placed in vivo or inside animals to track changes in cell growth with little internal harm. This would otherwise require a more invasive procedure. In the future, this process will ideally be used inside patients' bodies for application in the medical imaging field. Luciferase-based bioimaging is currently being used in medical research studies to monitor gene expression, infection, tumor growth, transplantation, and gene therapy. The imaging method generally involves tagging cells of interest with particles containing the luciferase protein. These cells are injected into an animal specimen and allowed to propagate and the luciferin substrate is injected soon after. The luciferin activates the luciferase, and the emitted light can be seen with the highly sensitive charge-coupled device camera, otherwise known as the CCD. The device measures the photoluminescent signal in photons, and overlays the data onto an image. The injection of luciferin and the subsequent imaging processes can be repeated to track the position of the cells over time. To produce the structures that hold and transport the luciferase enzyme used for bioluminescence, iron oxide magnetic nanoparticles, or MNPs, must be synthesized first. To create the MNPs, a solution of ferric and ferrous ions is combined with the base, usually hydroxide. Magnetite then precipitates from this solution. Polymers or organic molecules, such as citric acid, are also added to prevent excess products from gathering on the surface of the MNPs. The coated MNPs are 40 to 119 nanometer spheres with superparamagnetic behavior, which allows an outside magnetic imaging source to track cells and control the particles. Once the iron oxide MNPs are made, they are incubated with the luciferase enzyme and added onto the organic molecule surface of the MNP. The iron oxide core of the MNP is 17 nanometers in diameter. This small size lends to the particle's superparamagnetic behavior. The core has a cubic spinel structure, with the oxygen atoms arranged in an FCC lattice. The next layer of the particle consists of a substance that stabilizes the molecule. As a result of this coating, the MNPs are more spherical and don't aggregate, which is important for their individual use in binding to cells. The outermost layer of the MNP is the luciferase protein, which binds to the two remaining carboxyl groups on the organic molecule layer. The luciferase acts as a targeting agent, and it can bind easily to mammalian cells because the surfaces of these cells have numerous receptors for the targeting agents. The resulting MNP has an overall diameter from 40 nanometers to 119 nanometers, depending on the type of luciferase and imaging conditions. 
The nanoscale is necessary for the particles to be able to bind to and track individual cells. The processing and subsequent structure of the nanoparticles affects specific properties that are useful for medical tracking purposes. Because luciferous is light emitting, particles can be readily detected and monitored inside the body to track specific cells. The wavelength of light emitted by the particles is around 500 to 600 nanometers, producing blue or green light. At these wavelengths, signals can penetrate tissue to clearly image internal organs. The light is then able to be tracked using a charge-coupled device camera to monitor changes over time. Furthermore, the superparamagnetic property of nanoparticles can allow targeted cells to be manipulated by external magnetic fields, which is similar to some current gene therapy methods. The cells targeted by certain nanoparticles can then be neutralized to lose function or sorted and separated from healthy cells. This can help to address abnormal growth caused by diseases such as cancer. By combining age-old magnetic iron particles with modern bioluminescent applications, the field of bioimaging is taking on a new light. Currently, this technology has proven to be very successful in studies involving animals and is much less toxic when compared to traditional imaging methods. Potential concerns, however, are whether or not this in vivo imaging technique is just as powerful and accurate when compared to current methods and whether the magnetic cell manipulation is as viable long-term as modern gene therapy techniques. These should be further investigated to determine the extent of the particles' effectiveness. Nevertheless, looking to the future, the potential for the use of luciferous-coated magnetic nanoparticles in human bodies is extremely promising. Who knows? We might even be able to glow in the dark someday.